Coming up, Quincy Dining Hall abandons its Trailless Thursdays initiative. Unfortunately, they're still holding strong to Tasteless Tuesdays. And a pipe bursts inside the pusey, leaving it soaking wet. Classes can wait. You're on Harvard time. Elliot and Adams are feuding. So Elliot sold Adams' rugs, and then and then Adams sold Elliot's rugs, and then hung them up on the dining hall. Derek, that's not war. That's just childish. Yeah, it kind of does remind me of my childhood. Oh, oh, like the time my dad stole that money from the liquor store, and then the police retaliated by stealing my dad. Wow. That's more awkward than that time I walked in on you telling a blonde joke. Guys, I've got such a good one. What did the blonde say when she found out she was pregnant? <laughs> Guys, are you sure it's mine? On to our top Harvard story. Freshman housing day is this week, and the awkward cat fight that is the blocking group season has just ended. Here with his analysis is our senior drama queen, J.P. Stills. Thank you, Derek. Everyone who lived down in Harvardville loved Blocking Day a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Quadville, did not. The Grinch hated Blocking Day, the whole Blocking Day season. <laughs> Please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be, perhaps, that his tie was too tight. It could be that his eyebrows weren't screwed on just right. But I think the most likely reason to pick was that he was two sizes too small in Whoa. his... Whoa! Whoa, JP! How about we just get to the point, all right? Well, fine. But whatever the reason, his tie or his jock, he stood there on blocking day eve, hating on me round the clock. JP, we've been over this. Why didn't you block with me? Am I not interesting enough for you, Derek? Am I not pretty enough for you, Derek? Do I not put out enough for you, Derek? What is wrong with me? Well, okay. Wow, this is more awkward than that time Charles James walked in on me telling a black joke. Guys, I've got a really good one. What did God say when he made his third black person? <laughs> Damn, burned another one. Here's something that's also awkward. Simpsons head writer Mike Reese. Our own Molly Fitzpatrick sat down with him last week. I'm Molly Fitzpatrick here at Hillel with the Simpsons Mike Reese. So uh, you've been a writer for quite a long time and you're prolific. Do you ever get writer's block though? Is that an issue for you? I do not get writer's block. And you know, if you write for a living, you can't get writer's block. A plumber doesn't come to your house and say, I can't fix your toilet, I have plumber's block. Could you tell us how you feel, just sort of loosely, about President Bush? George Bush, as I said in the speech, I consider him Satan with a learning disorder, a leaky diaper of a man, a hobo with a nail gun. He's the worst president anything ever had. Why do we do so many Jewish-themed episodes and jokes about Judaism and Jewish words? And they all come from Al Jean, who is an Irish Catholic kid who went to Catholic school, and he thinks Jews are the funniest thing ever. <laughs> he thinks we're like elves. The Harvard comedy scene, as I'm sure you know, has just continued to sort of heat up since you've graduated, and a lot of us are looking for comedy internships and writing opportunities. So we've been talking for like, well, we've been talking for a while now. I was wondering, could you write me a recommendation for Conan or SNL <laughs> or anything? Yeah, I was so hoping you were going to hit on me. You're so cute. Huh? <laughs> From Harvard time, I'm Molly Fitzpatrick. I'm Mike Reed. <laughs> Last week, Evelyn Hammonds was appointed Dean of Harvard College. Dean Michael Smith said, It was important that the college dean exercise broad oversight of the undergraduate curriculum in addition to overseeing the college more broadly. Does anyone realize how sexist this actually is? Why do we only look for broads? What's wrong with manly oversight? or just oversight. Why we gotta discriminate? Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> you throw like a broad. <laughs> hey, I'll probably be dean of the college someday. True. There's no news yet on what Hammond's alcohol policy will be, but here to comment on the new ban on liquor and spirits from the sponsored parties is senior firewater correspondent Charles James. Jiminy Cricket, Alex. Things sure are heating up here at old University Hall. Charles, can you tell us what's happening down there? Can I ever? It seems those hotheads in New Hall up and decided to do away with all the giggle water once and for all, see? These suits say all the Franks and flappers have been getting too flipsy on their watch and that it's high time to bring an end to this hotsy totsy. But are they serious about enforcing the policies? You bet your trousers, this is the real McCoy. All horse feathers. You know old Matt Sunquist is doing his best to fight that wet blanket Dean Pillbame. Actually, Charles, didn't the UC just stop giving out party grants without bothering to tell the student body? Really? Why, they're about as worthless as Grover Cleveland's second term. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done laughing. <laughs> Charles, you do know Grover Cleveland wasn't the president during Prohibition, right? Wow. This is more awkward than the time Derek walked in on me telling a Jewish joke. All right, guys. So, no, no, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta go. In. All right. What is a Jewish dilemma? Free ham? Anyone? Free ham? No? Here comes this week's Harry Potter joke. It's another edition of Rock and Rolling. Let's face it, Harvard and Hogwarts don't have anything in common except for a gothic dining hall, an arcane housing system, and a cursed job that no one can occupy for more than a year. Thanks for watching. Here's a moment that could happen only at Harvard. It's from Housing Day in 2006. Students in Cambridge are protesting the war. We're expecting to hear from some of the anti-war protesters at about 12.30 when students and professors begin to address the crowd. From there, they'll begin to march towards MIT around 1.30, where they'll meet up with hundreds of other students who also walked out of their classrooms today. And freshmen, if you've been down in the dumps about your blocking group situation, then we have just the CD for you. It comes with all your favorite hits from Amy Winehouse. They try to make me block with the best friend, but I said no, no, no. Yeah, she has guitar hero, but she just declared, oh, you no, no, no. To you two. I have run, primal scream. I have peed on John Harvard's foot and some on the pedestal. Oh, but I still haven't found a blocking groove to Jennifer Hudson. Call now while supplies last.